So in this example, um, hopefully everybody got to this point. We basically rewrite this as a product. Everybody follows me with that, right? Just a lot of extra writing, Emma, but basically it's not too bad, right? OK. Now we got to. Huh? Why did you filter it? Because we're rewriting the division as a product. Okay. Remember, just like what I did over there with the numbers? Yeah. So now, as I mentioned, now we have expressions. So we got to simplify the expressions by <coughs> fa fa factor. So we, look up, so we just looked at every single expression to see what we can factor. Over here, I have 3y plus 3. What could I factor out? 3. three. So I have 3y plus 1. Then over here, I see that I can factor out a 6. So I have 6 into y plus 2 times, over here, I can factor out a y or 5. Where did I write this? Yeah, why do you guys keep stealing my book? Here it is. I just want to verify this. Are you serious? Eighteen over five y. Okay. All right. That's stupid. All right. Well, shoot. I should have. I didn't want to pick this problem, but either way. All right. So we factor out this one, which would be five times y plus one over 18. And now we look at this. Now obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if we had common elements, we would be able to divide them out, right? Does this have anything we can divide out? I can simplify the 3 over the 18, right? So I simplify 3 over 18 as uh, divide 3 in the top and the bottom, and I get 1 sixth, right? And that's really going to be about it. I can't simplify anything else. If this was y over 1, then I could simplify the y's over 1, right? I could divide those into 1. But they're not the same. So my answer here in this case is going to be 5 times y plus 1 squared over 6y plus 2. All right? And that's just going to be it. Now, obviously, you could multiply y plus 1 squared if you wanted to.